P-I-M-P. I I do not know what you heard about me. I heard the police was looking for your black ass. That's what I heard. You better get your pimping ass to the station. And he got a new H-O-E, don't he, Vivica Fox, ain't that? She done went from 69 to 56. What's wrong with you? That bitch supposed to be looking for 112 or something, don't she? Did y'all see on the ones with her new titties? Did you see the new titties? See, some of y'all going, oh, oh, don't acknowledge shit. You got eyes so you can see. When titties rising up, you sitting in the movies and you can't see the screen because your titties is too high. Them some new titties. See, I don't have no problem with whatever people do, but you ain't got to worry about me because I'm going to form a titty committee. We're going to have to make rules what you can and can't do to your titties because I don't think you ought to get no damn new titties. In my opinion, at the end of the day, you should be able to go home, take your shoes off, put your feet up, take your bra off, and let your titties lay down. That's what I think. Every woman in here should be able to leave here tonight, take her bra off, and her titties say, ooh, thank you, Josh. <laughs> Girl, I've been up all day, thank you. shit because they feeling all self-conscious, ain't confident no more. You know, we beautiful, y'all, no matter what shape or size, feel confident about your shit. Don't let nobody make you feel fucked up. And do you know what? Especially when we get that little pouch, we get our little belly, we really start feeling. That's because you're looking in magazines and looking at these perfect bitches on TV, but that ain't the real world. And you know, it's a strategy to everything. It's all about choices. If you get a big belly, just start fucking somebody who like a bitch with a big belly. That's all you do. And, and if by chance you already with somebody and you happen to grow a little belly and you don't know what to do, I got a strategy for you. Because everybody know black men love an ass, right? Keep your back to that motherfucker all the time. Just walk around the house backwards. You see people, they be talking about, did you see that big ass belly? What belly? I didn't see no belly. But did you see that ass? I keep my back to my man. We do a doggy style so much he couldn't identify me in the lineup, I promise you. He be standing there going, I don't know. Turn them bitches around. Maybe I can. <laughs> Start loving you and stop supporting crazy shit. We got some of the craziest music. Y'all just heard some of the best shit that you gonna hear in your lifetime. You heard reasons. He gave you a million reasons why he loved your ass. Not one of those reasons was because the sweat was running down his balls, was it? <laughs> Who in the hell went in their studio and said, I'm getting ready to write a hell of lyric here? <laughs> to the windows! <laughs> to the walls! To the sweat run down my balls! Oh, that's the shit! Shit. I know how to make sweat run down, down your ball. Put a torch on your ass. I bet you. We gotta stop supporting that crazy shit. Smokey Robinson counted the ways he loved you. He was sweat for you. He was baby, baby, don't cry. You was daylight and darkness. Not one time did I hear Smokey saying, baby, when the sweat run down my balls.